We have two more speeches coming up with the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Oratory Contest. But before we get there, we want to talk with the woman who brought the contest to this region several years ago, Dorothy Lavelle Jones. Tell me how this even started. How did this even come about in this area? Well, um, I used to be a part of the Columbus uh, Regional Contest as a poet. And each year they needed me to do something else. And so I went from a coordinator, uh, started as a poet, and then coordinator, and then a judge at the regional, a judge at the state level. And then I went to school and, at Gonzaga University and got my master's, and a part of that was to do research. And um, I wanted to do some research on something that I thought would be uh, we had to do it on what's probable, something that is feasible, something that could happen. And I asked my instructor, my professor, I said, uh, can I do it on, on the Dr. Martin Luther King oratorical contest in my region? And it didn't really fit the bill, but she says, let me see your ideas and we'll see if, it, if we can do it. And so I showed her what my plan was and she said, absolutely. And from that from that um, experience, the oratorical came about. And my twin sister, Daphne Brown, she said we should do it. And she's the one who has the, she's the brainchild. So she always say, you know, come up with ideas about different things, but she doesn't move on things. And that's where I come in. We're twins. So I moved on what her ideas were. And in 2009, we had an oratorical, the first one. Uh, and then we've been moving ever since, so. Well, we have already seen two good speakers, young individuals who have stepped up here in our studio and spoken very well, shared their thoughts. Uh, this obviously is more than just giving a speech. What do these kids do to prepare? Well, we spend about 22 weeks out of a year with them. Um, right after school starts, we try to get them uh, late September and we'll run through February with them um, to help them discover their gifts of uh, leadership. It's really, that's my background is in leadership. And we found that a kindergartner, if you put them on the right path now, we try to get them to go to college and things like that. And you have to start thinking when they're young and not wait till they're uh, eighth grade and ninth grade to discover that they may want to go to college. We try to get it to them um, when they're uh, in kindergarten and then every year we continue to build on it and build on it and we have some kids who have been in our program since the inception of the program. We've graduated several who have started with us and we said as long as there are students who want to be a part of this we're going to be right here and so seven years later we're here. So is it just the oratory contest or do you offer more to these kids? Well, we offer more. We offer a tutoring program as well. So we have the mentoring and then we have the tutoring and and we, um, we're we there at the Bradfield Center on um, Fridays. We were on Tuesdays, but it, it, it works best for us on Fridays. So we're tutoring the kids now. So if anybody asks what's next for the kids after the contest, after the regional, uh, what's next is tutoring for any student in our program who need tutoring and our goal is to you know you talk about outcomes people want to see outcomes and the outcomes that we're looking at is how well are they doing academically because that's another component of Dr. Martin Luther King you know education was important to him it's important to me and I want to see that every child succeed and not just pass classes so we provide tutoring too but you know it, it comes at a cost so we are uh, also needing funding so if there's anybody in the community who want to uh, donate funding for what we're doing to make a difference in the lives of our young people please give us a call one time I did hear someone say they ought to do something with these kids well we listened and we're doing something and what we're doing is making a difference and that's why we have our title I am making a difference so if you at home are thinking I want to make a difference, I want my kids to make a difference, or my kids need to be involved in that program, what is the phone number or the website where they can go to find out more information? The best way to reach us is, I can give my phone number, um, is 614-537-2888, however that's long distance for some folks. Um, our website is I am making a difference, Inc. I -N -C dot org. All right, Dorothy, thank you so much. Of course, if, if for some reason you can't 
contact her or find that, just give us a call here at the TV station. Ask for me, and I will make sure that I get you connected with Dorothy. Well, as we promised, we have two more speeches coming up very soon in our show, so stay with us. But coming up next, we want to tell you about another youth-oriented event that is taking place in just a few weeks. Dancy is with Buck and Tyler Sutton to talk more about Converge 2015. Dancy?